Welcome to Coding's Cast, the ultimate podcast dedicated to the science, art, and innovation of liquid and fluid applied roofing, coatings for surfaces, and waterproofing. It's time to roll up our sleeves, put on our lab coats, and dive headfirst into the world of liquid protection that keeps your roofs and surfaces in prime condition. The future is here and it's liquid, so don't miss out. This is Coding's Cast, where every drop counts in the world of roof and surface protection. Hello and welcome to another Coatings cast from Coatings Coffee Shop. My name is Heidi Ellsworth and you know, every industry has that that heartbeat, that core who really helps the industry rise above and get their messaging out. And in the coatings world, for roof coating specifically, that is the RCMA, Roof Coatings Manufacturers Association. And they've had some great things happening. So we've invited our friends, Chris Hudig and Jen Brake, to come and talk to us about what's happening with the RCMA. Welcome. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Thanks for having us here. Love it. As always, Chris, a returning guest. Thank you so much. Um, but let's start out with some introductions. So um, Jen, let's start with you. If you could introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your company. Great. Thanks, Heidi. Um, I'm Jen Brake. I am the new executive director for RCMA. Um, I am the owner of Brake Marketing and Management, but I am thrilled to be joining the Roof Coatings Manufacturers Association. Um, I've been working with trade associations for about 10 years now. Uh, I knew it was my calling. Uh, it incorporates entrepreneurship, marketing, manufacturing, all the things I love. Um, so, you know, one of the things that I really enjoy, I like to find new and creative ways for members to, you know, engage with one another and collaborate. Um, and I'm, I'm just really looking forward to working with our members to help, uh, you know, push the industry forward. I love it. I love it. I'm so, welcome. So happy to have you here Thank and you. this great conversation, Chris, if you could introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your role with RCMA and also about your company. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my name is Chris Hudig. I'm the National Director of Technical Services at Carnac. I, I've been with Carnac for 24 years, been in the roofing industry for 29. Uh, so kind of been around uh, you know, for a while and seen lot, lots of trends and how things are going. Um, I'm also uh, involved in ASTM. And as you mentioned, I'm currently the president of the Roof Coating Manufacturers Association. Uh, Carnac's been involved with the RCMA since the very beginning. I think back in 1982 is when the organization started. Uh, we're a proud supporting member. I've been a board member for the past three years and an active president for the past two years. You got you, Chris, you've done so much in the last couple of years. It's really been a lot of changes. So why don't you tell everybody just a little bit about Roof Coatings Manufacturers Association, RCMA, what it is, what it does, kind of, and you started with a little bit of the history, maybe go a little bit deeper. Yeah, I mean, the RCMA, we're a proud organization. We are one of the oldest organizations, associations in the roofing industry. People don't realize that. Uh, but we are, we're, we're the voice of the, the coatings industry. So, you know, that that means asphaltic goods, aluminum coatings, which go, go back a ways, but also today's coatings, the urethanes, the silicones. Um, and acrylics and everything else out there. Uh, we are an organization that that really is here to give up to date information on building codes, on standards, on 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 technology, and other industry topics that are important to like like minded manufacturers who do what what we do. Um, we we play a critical role in, in kind of being the voice of the, this industry for those different critical things that that may affect it, the coatings industry. Um, our membership is pretty diverse. You know, not only do we have members who are active manufacturers of coatings, but we also have associate members. And those associate members, they, they represent uh, the raw material manufacturers that we all buy from, uh, testing laboratories, as well as anybody else that provides services to the coating industry. So it is an opportunity for all of our minds to get together to help advance coatings in the industry itself. Yeah. And you also have contractors involved. We do have contractors involved. We're looking to expand upon that in the future. That's kind of something we haven't really uh, formed uh, how that goes yet. But, you know, it's just so important to have a spot for, uh, you know, contractors, for architects. Uh, we're kind of looking how we can bring them in to be a part of this organization to help better the industry. Yeah, it's it's I mean, roof coatings 
it is exploding. We know that we see it. It's so important. And roof restoration is so such a huge part of the sustainability story out there too. Um, Jen, I know you're not new to RCMA. You've been doing a lot. So give us a little bit of your history with RCMA and really how you see your new role as executive director. Sure. Um, sure. I go back a few years with uh, RCMA. I've been involved in their uh, annual or annual uh, meetings um, and helping to facilitate those, doing the marketing and so more on the backside. Um, so I'm thrilled to actually get to uh, play a larger role in this, right? Um, as the executive director, I'll help to facilitate, you know, the goals and initiatives of RCMA. Um, we have, I have a fabulous team. So obviously this isn't something that I can do on my own. So uh, we have a new technical director. Uh, his name is Dr. Ralph Paroli. Um, I think many people in this industry have probably heard of Ralph. They, they know that um, he's been doing this for quite some time. He's got, um, you know, he's known for his research in roofing materials and he's passionate about standards and codes. So um, we also have a uh, account executive. His name is Rock Miller. He'll be helping to handle the day-to-day -day operations. Um, he has extensive experience in marketing and project management. So he's really going to help us to get the word out, right? Let people know what roof coatings are all about, the benefits. Um, and then we're super excited to announce that as a team, we're working on a new website for the organization. Wow. Nice. And, you know, this will be the hub. This will be a place that not only members, but non-members will be able to come to. They'll be able to find technical information. Uh, we'll have an industry calendar there. Um, and then our members, our members get even more. They're going to get a new info hub. And this info hub will be available both through the website, but they'll also be able to download an app right on their phones. So again, this is a member benefit. It is exclusive just to members, but they'll be able to find documents. Um, they'll actually have a form where they'll be able to communicate with each other, right? So we've got wonderful committees and everybody comes together once a month, but this is a place that they can come together on a day-to-day -day basis. So really excited about that. That is great. And that, you know, that's so important because everybody, you know, we want our information when we want our information. And that's so right. you, you need that's it. Right. And think about it, our phones are the first place we tend to tend to turn to. So right. yep. Yep. Very excited. I am that is excellent. Um Chris, when manufacturers out there, eventually contractors, architects, everybody you've been talking about, associate um vendor providers basically of raw materials. What are some of the benefits that people have been finding since 1982 and through today and um, benefits of membership with RCMA? Because I think it, that'd be good for people to kind of understand how, un, how important this has been to the industry. Well, the, the first and foremost thing is we're really a kind of a technical organization. So having Dr. Ralph Paroli as our new technical director is just going to be so helpful. I mean, you know, the manufacturers, they know how to make good products. They're, they're, they know how to train. They know how to do other things too. But there's a lot on the fray on the outside that affects us all that, that is really at the heart of our organization. And that's really the technical affairs and the government affairs. So, you know, having having a focus on that and allowing the the the, the group to, to meet, discuss the latest things that, that are coming up either currently or on the forefront allows us to have a, a kind of a platform to talk about the, these things. You know, some of the things we, we see in the future, we like the way they're going. Maybe sometimes we have a differing opinion. And having the RCMA allows us to kind of share that that opinion and if we want to as a group we we can form um you know a way way to get to give that voice whether it's through roofing day and, mm -hmm. and being representative of the rcma and in the nrca or or other issues that that individual members want to want to hear about stay on top of and have their own opinion and do their own thing however they want to disseminate the information i think that that's really the heart of what of what we 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 are and we we come to do, um, you know the the other benefits is just having all these people together. Uh, you know, as a, as a manufacturer, there may be some raw material manufacturers out there that you're not aware of. This is a place, and on our meetings, our fall meeting or spring meeting, a chance to meet the people, come face to face, talk talk about what you do and how your businesses can work together. And I think that that always helps. Uh, and and everybody you know enjoys enjoys that. 
Um, the new website with all of us communicating better is just going to make all that function and work a, a lot more, uh, you know, proactively for us all and a lot more expeditiously. Well, and I've sat in the meetings. I've been actually to several meetings for the RCMA. I find them fascinating. And I think one of the things that really, to your point of membership benefit is first the networking is just so critical, but then also the technical presentations. And you know, sometimes Chris, I'm not the best when it comes to technical presentations, but I always find them, I mean, you guys are always right at the forefront, you know, whether it's environment or new types of um, chemistry. Um, so on the technical side, you really, you really push that. Yeah, when we have our meetings and we plan out speakers, we try to find some that, you know, from a high level are talking about a certain subject. And then we always kind of throw in, okay, let, let's get into the weeds and something here because the group coming to our meetings could, could be salespeople, uh, could be technical people, but they really could be the chemists and the people who formulate these products. So from their eyes, they want to see something that really gets in the weeds about maybe a certain raw material out there that's going to give some added benefit that they feel like they need on their product, you know, as well as things like sustainability and having someone from a local government call and talk about their, you know, their sustainability efforts in their particular city, where a lot, a lot of times you're hearing that the other cities are doing the same thing too. So it gives you a good broad perspective. Yeah, it's so true as you go through that. So Jen, like we mentioned before, you have been with our CMA for a couple of years that we've worked together, you know, on all the marketing and putting everything out there. Um, but there are some changes that have just happened. Can you tell us a little bit about, I mean, we know we're gonna get a new website, but there's also some management changes and that's pretty exciting for the organization. What as the new executive director, what's some of your goals and some of the things you're looking at? Yeah, well, we would, we again, we really want to help bring the industry together, right? So we want to give the industry a voice, right? We want to bring more communication to the group, right? Um, Ralph will obviously be representing from a, a technical standpoint, but just getting the word out about who we are, that we're here. Um, we have new programs we're putting into place. Our committees are so active. Um, I, I cannot believe all the initiatives that are going through those uh, groups. And, you know, every meeting it's like, okay, you know, there's so many things to do and we're putting so many things together. So I think from, you know, our role uh, as, a, as a new management group, we'll just to be making sure that everyone is aware of all of that, that that's happening. Yeah. And again, giving them the platforms to be able to do that. So, um, and and again, the the fall and spring meetings, another great place. So if, if people are thinking about getting involved, they wanna become members or they wanna check us out, those are great opportunities for uh, for people looking to to get in touch with us and, and to see how how the group works. Um, yeah. You know, our, our website will provide all kinds of information on both the technical side, but also about roof coatings, about membership, about everything. So it's going to be the hub. Um, and the fall meeting is a great place to learn more as well, to meet the players, to meet the other the other companies, uh, member companies. Yeah, I think that, I think it is so important, this kind of networking and really learning from each other and speaking as one, one industry of roof coatings, um, coatings overall. So Chris, like I said, I said this earlier, but it's just really roof coatings have taken off. I mean, we are seeing such a um, growth spurt. Can you just give us a little insight on what you're seeing in the roof coatings industry when it comes around growth and some of the new initiatives that are going to be important to, to talk about and to also advocate for? Yeah, the, the roof coating industry, we as you said, it's been growing. I mean, it's, you know, if you look and find somewhere between 8 to 12 percent over the past, you know, uh, six years and continues to be on that upward trajectory still, there's been so, so many changes. Uh, and, and, you know, when I look at the industry today, part of the changes are tremendous growth that kind of, I think, COVID area, you know, spurred that uh, when yeah. there were raw material issues and coatings were still viable. But, you know, uh, besides that, uh, the technologies that we have today for our coatings are continuing to be robust and grow. So we're able to make better products each and every year. So there's been great, great improvements in that. Um, you know, and I think that with those great improvements, there's been a lot of trust gained in the roof coatings industry from not only building owners and architects, but also, uh, you know, contractors that them, themselves as well. Uh, they're really, you know, seen as a viable solution to extend the service lives of roofs. 
um, you know, address energy savings options. You know, we're always talking about, you know, energy and, uh, you know, cool cities and, and, and such like that. So they, they've really helped reduce urban heat islands and, and promote sustainability, which is always on the forefront. I don't think that will ever go away. We all know that this earth has limited resources that we need to manage better and, and roof coatings have a, have their key in place in that to do that. Um, you know, contractors now, are trusting coatings, they're putting it into their arsenal as offerings. So, you know, if the, if option A or B isn't accepted, maybe they have an option C, or maybe it's option A for some. We've seen some contractors go direct the coatings and get out of new roofing. So, it you know, it just depends on what fits them, the size of their company, what they want to do. Uh, and and that, that brings on the education front, you know, of like, we need to share ideas. We need to talk amongst ourselves. We need to always equip contractors to knowing how to assess roofs better, how to use our products uh, so that we're all benefiting from that. So all that has just created, you know, a lot of work for us all, but it's also a lot of fun in the industry as well. Yeah, it is. And you, when you think, I, I love what you said about, you know, how far roof coatings have come, because I mean, there was one point many, many years ago when some people would think, well, we're just gonna go paint the roof. That's yeah. not it at all. These are yeah. full liquid applied systems. They're full, um, you know, restorate, re restorative. And that I think, I mean, I always look at it and really feel that is one of the big, um, purposes of such a great association is to really talk through the the technology and the sustainability and everything. So Jen, you've got a lot out there to talk about, a lot of really good systems and um, manufacturers who are working together to provide the best roofs. How do you, you know, give us a little bit of your insights on what you're seeing in the industry and, and getting that message out. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, when we talk about, so first of all, who's the audience, right? We have a, a younger audience, right, that's looking. So we have to find the places that they're at, right? So we're going to be driving that message, you know, online in different ways, um, hitting social media, um, just, you know, making sure that we're involved um, to try to get that word out, right? So there's, you know, there's, I think, new and interesting ways. And I think our staff is tuned into to finding that younger audience and making sure they understand. Um, I do want to mention that in talking about education, we do have a virtual training program. And that can be accessed through our website. Um, and that is a great way to uh, learn about the products, how to, how to properly use them, uh, how to properly apply them. And we have three, you know, three different modules. Uh, so it's that's a great start um, for you to, to use them. If you're bringing on new contractors or new staff, even uh, you're you're looking to to train admin, right? These are great modules to use. So, and again, they can be accessed through the website. Yeah. In fact, we have um, a full webinar launch when that first came out that yes, people can watch yeah. on Roofers Coffee Shop and Coatings Coffee Shop. Um, also numerous articles, because we've talked to a lot of contractors and different people who have taken these classes. They love them. I yes. mean, the courses are great. They really teach what's going on with roof coatings and liquid applied systems and how to do that. Um, yes. So I, I'm really glad yeah. you brought that up. They're, they're a self-paced program, right? So people can do them on their own time, you know, or at their own pace. And uh, there are some quizzes along the way. So it's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful program to use. Yeah. Very, I love it. Very cool. Um, okay. So speaking of ongoing education, um, we have the fall meetings coming up. So let's talk a little bit about those fall meetings. Chris, I would love to start with you just on some of the highlights that you see coming in that fall meeting and why everybody, why so many people should attend. Well, Jen knows about the ins and outs and she's helping set the agenda. So I know she's going to be a little more on the forefront of what, what there is. But but from my side of it, it's just, again, it's a place we haven't gotten together in a year. So it's going to be great to get the group together to have our, our annual meeting uh, in, in, in the fall. We're piggybacking it off of the MRCA. So we thought, you know what, if we could help people save a little bit on their budget and their travel expenses, let's, let's put it right after the MRCA in St. Paul, Minneapolis, Minnesota. So we're going to do that. Um, it, it, you know, we have some, uh, some, some great, uh, 
uh, uh, things we're going to be talking about. Uh, one is we've been doing a, a, a coating study. So we've got some coatings that we've had out in the market versus uncoated roof membranes that have been out there for, I think, seven or eight years that we're going to take a look at. We have a laboratory that is, you know, a third party lab that is looking at them that's going to be presenting on their findings on that. So I think that that's always kind of interesting to see that. Yeah, very um, cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, what we're going to have a talk on sustainability. I think we have someone locally coming to talk about some initiatives in the area there going on. Um, we'll have some uh, some you know raw material manufacturers there again presenting some some ideas of enhancements or product improvements that that can be done. And uh, we're going to have, of course, uh, our committee meetings where we get together in person. So we'll have our three committees: our communications and marketing, our technical, and our government affairs. We'll bring over the high level topics. We'll have a discussion about them decide if there's anything we as a group need to act on now, or if not, you know, here's some information then to bring back to your companies to talk about as well. Um, and then of course, we're going to have some social time where we get to kind of meet each other and, uh, and have some good conversations one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. So Jen, walk us through that. What, what does it look like? <laughs> Chris, you did a great job. Uh, so it's going to be on October 23rd to the 25th in St. Paul, Minnesota, um, at the Intercontinental Hotel, which is right on the river. Um, and as Chris said, it's going to piggyback. So it's right after the MRCA's uh, conference and expo. So what better excuse than to attend two events, right? Right in a row. You get two for one. Um we, uh, I'm excited to announce that we have, uh, when talking about networking and, and giving the members an opportunity to, to get to know each other and, and a more relaxed and fun atmosphere, we're going to have um, a fun tour to the uh, uh, Wubasha Street Caves, um, which is a historic <laughs> site. We'll have about an hour tour there and a nice dinner, so networking uh, dinner. Um, but the, the event itself is about uh it's two days two and a half days i guess you'd say it'll be the evening of the 23rd well we'll have committee meetings on the 23rd we'll have full sessions on the 24th and then about a half day on the 25th so it's it's going to be uh everyone's going to have a chance to learn they're going to have a chance to network um and to get to know one another and to really address what's happening in the industry so uh really really excited really looking forward to it um You'll be able to register and find out more information about it at roofcoatings.org, uh, the website. Um, so, you know, be sure to go there, take a look and get registered. We're, we're looking forward to seeing everybody in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota. It is going to be... And right. I can't leave off the, the last thing of the day. We kept it for Friday. That's the Roofers Coffee Shop contractor right. panel, which, yes. is, which is always to me is the highlight. So we put that the last day to keep everybody there. Uh, I love it. It's, it's always great to have contractors and have that, you know, panel where we're asking questions from the field and we're getting, you know, real responses, uh, you know, in time from from people who are out there applying all of our products out there and telling us what they're seeing and how they're doing it. Uh, it's really a good educational exchange. Yeah, it's, it's the highlight for me. I, of course, get so excited about this because we're able to go out and we work with, you know, a lot of the members to find contractors from all across the country, all four point, you know, we'll get some Northeast, Southeast, the um, West and Midwest um, to come in and talk about what they are seeing with um, coatings. And, you know, I have to tell you, Chris and Jen, the, one of the very first contractor panels we did, I was thinking, oh, it's going to be, you know, big issues about sustainability or this or that. And they're like, no, we need to talk about the nozzles and having the, um, you know, <laughs> the coatings come out easier and not clogging. I'm like, sometimes simplest things when you bring the right people together. And that has been since that um, contractor panel. I know I've talked to a lot of people who are like, oh yeah, they listened. They went back. Things are so much better. Um, so if you're a contractor out there listening to this and you're interested in coming on, um, speaking your piece at the Roof Coating Manufacturer Association, these manufacturers want to hear what you have to say. It's it's pretty phenomenal. I, I love that event so much. Um, I also want to say just the networking is so much fun um, and really hearing what's going on. So I really encourage everyone, you know, hit the MRCA, hit the RCMA. Um, it's a week of some of the best education that you're gonna that you're gonna have out there. So, um, you know, one other thing that I wanted to just say also is 
Um, we are so proud to have our CMA as our premier association on Coatings Coffee Shop. So Coatings Coffee Shop launched last summer. Our CMA has been so amazing. Um, we share, and Jen, we're going to keep doing this a lot, all the information that's going on through that platform to make it, we want to get the word out as much as possible. And so when I think about some of the videos we have, the um, technical papers, all of those things that are coming across, um, I just want to say thank you to RCMA for sharing that and helping us get it out there to the industries. Well, Heidi, thank you for your support, especially of the industry and of our organization. It's wonderful, wonderful partnership. Thank you. It is fun. And we're going to do something really fun. I mean, not as fun as the fall meetings, of course, but <laughs> we are going to have our very first official Coatings Coffee Shop coffee conversations. So um, as you two know, and many out there know, we've been doing coffee conversations on Roofer's Coffee Shop since 2020. And this will be our first Coatings Coffee Shop um, coffee conversation. And it is going to have all of you on it. And it's going to be an opportunity, a forum for all our CMA uh, membership and the industry as a whole to come on and ask questions about what's going on initiatives and what's happening. That is going to be August 15th, 7 a.m. Pacific. You'll all be seeing a lot of it. So Chris and Jen, thank you. That's going to be really fun. Thank you. We're looking forward to it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, Heidi. Thank you. So good. So, okay. So we know how to register. Why don't you say that one more time, Jen, where do they go to register for the fall meetings? Roofcodings.org. And also there they'll find information on membership. Yep. On the membership. continuing education courses. Yep. Mm -hmm. on the virtual training programs as well as the fall meeting uh, and membership yep and you can also find all that information on the rcma directory on coatings coffee shop and roofers coffee shop it'll just get you to the right places so uh chris and jen thank you so much for being here today love being here thanks heidi thanks heidi thank you so much and thank you all for listening please Look at RCMA, no matter what you're doing, if you're a contractor, an architect, a manufacturer, a supplier, please um, check out what they're doing because it is only improving the industry, the roofing industry overall with this phenomenal product that is restoring roofs every single day. So thank you again. Thank you all for listening. Please check out all of our podcasts for our coding casts on Coding's Coffee Shop under the Read, Listen, Watch initiative navigation or on your favorite podcast channel. Be sure to subscribe and set those notifications so you don't miss a single episode. We'll be seeing you next time on Coding's Cast. Thanks for joining us on this coding adventure. Stay tuned for more episodes. And in the meantime, be sure to follow us on social media to stay updated with all things roof coatings. Until next time, stay coded. For more information, go to codingscoffeeshop.com.